Good evening, I'm Lee Anderson. Some Bend residents noticed speeding on Wells Acres Road in Bend near 27th. Noah Chast rode along with a Bend police officer today to see for himself. Noah, did you catch any speeders out there? There were some speeders out here today, Lee. As you said, I was with Bend Police this morning, and I was a little surprised at the amount of people speeding I saw. It was nothing too egregious, maybe 10 or so over, but in a school zone like this road's on, every mile per hour makes a difference. It's not ideal. We're gonna go ahead and stop this car. This car is being pulled over on Wells Acres Road in Bend for driving nearly 13 miles per hour over the speed limit in a school zone. If you just notice the sign and glance at your speedometer, you're gonna know how fast you're going, right? And so, Here's a, here's a great guy, nice guy, but he's just not quite doing it right. According to Karina Munch, who lives on Wells Acres Road, there are a lot of people not doing it right. Everyone seems to be understand that there's a speed issue here, but nothing's being done about it. Munch says speeding on Wells Acres is a big issue, and she says there have been several accidents there the past few months. You know, I have two children, and I get it's a busy road, and that's okay but speed isn't okay. Traffic officer Scott Elliott said since the pandemic started, he's noticed more speeders. Statistically speaking, all over this town, people are speeding kind of all the time. In less than two hours Monday morning, Elliott pulled over three people for speeding on Wells Acres. The reason I'm stopping you on Wells Acres back there, yeah. that's a 20 mile an hour school zone and you were doing 33. However, Elliot says when he looks at the numbers, it's not one of Ben's main problem areas. 8% of the people in this area are speeding or 20% of the people in this area are speeding. And we can gather that data for two or three weeks and then compare it against other places that we've been to. And so in terms of an allocation of resources issue, obviously we need to go to where it's happening more often. The city of Ben published an interactive map that shows the average speed and number of vehicles on a particular street. For Wells Acres, police found 85% of drivers were going 34 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. Munch wants speed humps and a greater police presence on her street before something drastic happens. Someone getting hit, someone getting seriously hurt, a car going through my house or someone else's house or, you know, I just don't feel like anyone's taking responsibility or action to keep us all safe. Well, I'm here live here now on Wells Acres Road and there doesn't seem to be anyone speeding behind me at the moment. But Officer Elliott did tell me that he wishes he could spend more time on these residential roads monitoring the speed, but they're just too busy with other accidents and other streets. He wanted to remind everyone that it's not about where you're going, but how you get there and to be safe. Lee, back to you. All right, Noah, thank you. Good advice.